Next, we're on the next line, and this next is the line. one that everybody's watching is Lorcana. Not Wizards. Different yeah. thing. Lorcana. Now, Ravensburger, yes. who is the publisher of this, they did uh, they did the Villainous games. Yes. Right? And I want to give them credit. A fantastic game I played at my friend's house yesterday called Stomp the Plank. Yeah. Little game where you have these little elephants, and they make some great board they, games. They make some really solid stuff. Yeah. They've been working on Lorcana for a while. They're doing it under license from Disney. Yeah. Uh, this thing went bonkers at Gen Con. Yeah. 16 hour lines. 16 or hour like lines. That. People got trampled the first day. It was. It was absolutely cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I did a TikTok on this on my personal channel, and it kind of blew up, and there's been yeah. a discourse. Chat, when this. was the last time you waited 16 hours in line for something? I can't remember. Um, I, there is there is no gaming product I would wait 16 hours no. in line for. There's just not. No. Um, Parmesan cheese, maybe, for me. I do love it that much. So there's a lot of questions about what this TCG is going to do. Yeah. Now, it's very obvious to see what Ravensburger's doing, especially some of the stuff that came out this weekend. Because what's some of the stuff you've gotten from the store perspective? I know you've been sent some things that so show they're giving that... us They're giving us big retailer kits and organized play kits. They are hyper-focused on game stores, mm -hmm. which is why we get a two-week exclusivity at every set line. Which, can I say, I love that. Me too. Absolutely love that. Organized play. Establishing an MSRP. Staring at you, wizards. MSRPs. MSRPs are good. MSRPs. Okay. Stop, please stop putting shops in the awkward position where they have to answer for what somebody's charging for something yeah. on TCG Player. So, um, looks like we're going to get pretty fast restocks on this. Okay. okay. They're not underprinting. It's not a one-piece okay. situation. <laughs> but here's where they're coming after it, too. So this weekend, draft rules are out. Okay. Multiplayer pod rules are out. The currently, I would say, to my knowledge, admitting it could be limited, the most unique thing about Magic. There's a reason Commander's the most popular formats because you can sit down with three people and play. If Lorcana can compete with that, or more, because yeah. I've seen guys in the store do like eight. Oh my gosh! Pods. Yeah, go bonkers. yeah, hundred percent. There's seven of us. We're all gonna play. Yeah. Um, they're coming for it. Yeah. Right. Ravensburger is. Locked in. Okay. I don't think they're coming after Pokemon. They, to me, Pokemon is in a different conversation. I think so too. Pokemon is almost like Nintendo, where like you talk about Xbox and Sony, and then there's and then there's Nintendo, and and every now and then you check in and you're like, good lord, they're making how much money? Oh yeah, and Nintendo's and, printing money again. And they're Pokemon's fine. just over here, like stop paying attention, like don't. It's we're doing our own thing. Yeah. Um, they're coming after Magic. Yeah. And they're doing it with organized play. Yeah. All the rules that everybody loves. Yep. And they're doing it with the most recognizable set of IPs on the planet. 100%. Here's the universes beyond sets you're not going to see. Yep, exactly. <laughs> you're not going to see Disney. You're not going to see Marvel. Uh, you're not going to see Star Wars. Star Wars. I saw it in the chat here. Last thing somebody waited 16 hours in line for, a Star Wars movie. There will not be a, a commander set release for Star Wars. You know, it's not going to nope. happen. Nope. Any IP that Disney acquires... As long as they decide to keep this game going. Simpsons. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine. So uh, I have Homer Simpson uh, go on, I don't know the terms of Lorcana, uh, go on a quest with Ariel. Uh, to, you know, you want to talk about weird brand crossovers and whatnot. Um, look, they're coming after Wizards. Yeah. Here's the other way that they're doing it. So, first off, there's MSRT. Starter decks, yeah. sixteen ninety nine. Six. I thought it was twenty nine ninety nine. Sixteen. Sixteen ninety nine. A seventeen dollar starter deck. Mm -hmm. Wow. Booster boxes, one twenty four. Yeah. Okay. Treasure troves. They've got their own fat packs. Oh, we've got somebody in chat actually who isn't super familiar with what we're talking about with so Lorcana. So Lorcana, Ravensburger is building a well, and they're literally literally about to release. They did the soft release at Gen Con of the Disney TCG. Yep. It is L O R C A N A and A R coming after it. Yeah. Um, it Family is not guy. like Kingdom Hearts. Uh, so what's interesting, and one of the things that Ray, uh, Ravensburger did was they said, "Hey, the point is not to kill your opponent." Yeah. Right. This is not a breakdown beat up your opponent yeah. for win state. You are attempting to collect lore. Yeah. Right? It's a different goal. It's a different goal. It's yeah. a build up mechanic, not a tear down. Not a tear down. Yeah. Right? Different uh, philosophy, which very fitting with the Disney brand. So supposedly boxes, yeah, some of the boxes are going for crazy numbers. Oh, sure. Um, 
we at Gamers Heaven are not going, I'm not going to price gouge this. I'm not going to. I'm not going to sell thank above you. MSRP. I say on behalf of, uh, you know, everybody, thank By the you. way, if you're if you're a game shop and you're selling this above MSRP, um, I think you're a jerk. Blech. I think you're a jerk. This is what I say to you. Blech. I fart in I your general a, direction. I think it's a bad idea. Okay? And what's in, what the thing about this is this. Ravensburger wants people to play this game. Yeah. Not we're, just buy and collect this game. We're... We are going to get our first restocks three to three and a half weeks after the first one. Cool. After the first round. It's coming. Yeah. Right? Are you going to try it? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I, again, I have, a, I have an eight-year-old oh, who sure. loves yeah. Disney. Right? You know, um, the card art looks really good. Yeah. We got, we got Swashbuckler Mickey. And yes. We got very Robin Hood true. Mickey. And we got all these Mickeys. Yeah. You know, it's great. Yeah. So. It's exciting. I, I, I really think that this is... Now, here's the thing that I'm hoping. Yeah. I'm hoping. So, by the way, we're already getting phone calls about this thing. About Lorcana? Yeah. Are you guys going to get it? Are you going to get it? Are you going to get, get it? it? Are, you gonna get it? are you doing pre-orders? By the way, to answer this question, anybody who's watching this on YouTube, I'm going to put this one up on YouTube pretty fast. No, I'm not doing pre-orders. And I'm purchase limiting. I was going to say, I remember you mentioning this, which, like, let if you think you're gonna, get it. If you, you know? think you're going to come into my shop and buy 10 booster boxes, you can go get fucked. Okay? It's not happening. Okay, I want people to play this game. Yeah. And here's the thing, Ravensburger knows, for the long-term health of the game, yeah. play it. You need to play it. Okay, if you don't have players, this is why Magic succeeds. Yeah. Because it's got a strong player community. People play Magic. Right? Now what I'm hoping, and we're in this really weird spot, because we got three back-to-back -back releases. We got Commander Masters, Pokemon City Flames this Friday, right? And, and then Lorcana right after And then Lorcana right the that. Friday after that. What I'm hoping, what I'm hoping is that this will reset stuff. That this will put pressure on Wizards, mm -hmm. right? And the other companies to start dropping these prices. That is my going, hope. Ravensburger's going, look, I can do a $60, I can do a 60 card deck. We don't need to charge yeah. $40 for it. No, they okay? could. It's cardboard. Yeah. Okay. Um, is the target market? No, I think it's everybody. I really think it is. And here's what's interesting. Uh, that was a comment in the chat there. We were chatting about this a little bit. The biggest mistake that especially Magic could make, you know, as, as a competitor to this, is to think that. Mm -hmm. Is to think, well, we're the older, more mature game, and sure, people will play Lorcana for a little while, but then they're going to age up into Magic. That would be a mistake. Somebody said earlier in the chat they love to be in, in Wizards marketing rooms. Yeah. I would love, oh, love to be in a corporate man. strategy meeting over there going, what are we doing? And somebody, I, I would love to be a fly on the wall. Somebody's got their hands on their head like this and is like, $17 for a starter deck? Like, mm -hmm. that's, that's scaring so, someone. As someone coming out of corporate, here's, here's what I would be willing to bet some of the words that have been said in some of these meetings. $17 for a starter set? I'll tell you what they're going to do, and I'm pretending to be somebody from Wizards. Sure. Those things will be $35 before next year because yeah. they're just going to on the price. Here's the thing. If Ravensburg is smart, they won't. They won't. They won't. They'll leave this alone for two years. Yep. Okay? Establish your player base. Establish, Establish your Establish people who want to play. Again, because here's the thing. Organized you can, play. And you can get a friend if they'll come in. Here's what I really hope from a mechanic perspective. I hope the starter decks are competitive. Because if the starter deck is like... You brought a starter deck to this event, like there's no way you're competing. If a starter deck is genuinely like, and Pokemon, some Pokemon product does a good job with this. They'll package pretty competitive decks mm -hmm. as a, as a pre-constructed thing of like, here's what you need to walk into a tournament. Magic has had this on occasion with like the challenger decks. I would say the commander some of decks. Those, the commander decks you can are sit down. these days. If you pick up a random commander deck, yes. unless you're playing somebody with like a hyper tuned really oh, sure. good deck. Yeah. Most of the commander decks play fine. Yes. Coming out of the box. They They're a hundred dollars. Well, you know, I mean, and even like the normal ones, like March of the Machine sure. or something like that. They 40, play 45. Okay, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have the, the Rohan deck from Lord yes. of the Rings. Plays fine. Yeah. Plays right? great. It still has some of the commander issues and stuff, but this, yeah. I agree with you. If the starter decks are reasonably competitive and give you a good, strong, like, thing, they're going to do that. PTQ system with free flights. What are you talking about free flights? Ravensburger, because they premiered this at D23. Yeah. Right? Hey, guys, the world championship's at Disneyland. Okay? And Put you, you up in that trip. hotel. We, you're going to stay at Disney uh, at, the, at the California Adventure theme park. 
Yeah. Right. That's a, or the California Adventure Hotel, because that's a really nice hotel. Yeah. Right? And we're going to put you up at or the Disneyland Hotel, and you're going to play your thing at, at the, you know, inside of Sleeping Beauty's Castle. Oh, like, man. They can do a lot with that. That's Got to make use of Epcot somehow. Uh, no, in fact, and I think very intentionally. <laughs> Epcot. They would not send it to Florida. I'm no. telling you right now. Well, in Florida, their all relationship of, with Florida. All is a whole of thing. Disney's major event stuff is going to Disneyland in Be- California mm-hmm. because they're like, eat it. It's... They're not going to close Disney World, but they're no. not going to help. No, they're no. not going to help. Um, no, no. Uh, again, put it all at Disneyland. Yeah. You know, as again, as big as as Epcot and Disney World is, Disneyland is still the home base. It's still the original. It's the first. Yeah. It's still where Disney is headquartered is yeah. in L.A. Sure. Um, again, I think they're coming for Wizards. Draft this rules. Draft and, rules. And the minute I saw draft and multiplayer, and I was multiplayer. Like, that's big. That's it. You because at that point, it, I'd you seen, now do everything. No, I'd seen a lot of articles that were like. Is, will this go magic? And my first reaction was just like, we'll see. Now it's, oh, you really are aiming to compete. Like, yeah. you really are and setting yourselves thing, so up. I said, is... It takes capital. Yes. And what they've got now is they've got capital, they've got hype, yep. and they've got it rolling. Why are you still here? It's the end of the video. You need to have liked and subscribed and hit the notification bell. Why haven't you done that yet? Your mother's very disappointed in you.